This cop cried after being sentenced to 263 years in prison. Welcome back, Charlie here. Many cops do a great job and protect their communities, but some use their power for evil and commit heinous crimes. Here are the most corrupt police officers who were jailed for a lifetime. First, we have to look at Roy Oliver. Roy Oliver was a Texas policeman. On May 5th, 2017, he responded to a 911 call. The Call said there were several underage people drinking at a party. When Roy arrived, he heard a weapon being fired. So in response, Officer Roy fired three rounds into a vehicle. Inside the vehicle was 15-year-old Jordan Edwards. He was unarmed, but sadly passed away due to Officer Roy's actions. Two of Jordan's brothers and friends were also inside the vehicle. Thankfully, they survived and were actually taken in for questioning. At first, the police said Jordan's car was driving towards them in an aggressive manner. Manner. But after reviewing the body cam footage, it turned out the car was driving away from the cops. As a result of this, Roy Oliver was fired from the police force. But of course Jordan's family and friends were still very angry. An investigation was conducted. Eventually Roy Oliver was charged, and an arrest warrant was put out. He turned himself into the cops the same day, and in 2018 was found guilty of taking Jordan's life. He was sentenced to 15 years in prison. He appealed this, but his appeal was rejected. It, meaning that this cop will be behind bars for a very long time. The next cop we have to look at is Wayne Jenkins. This cop was so corrupt that an entire TV series is based off him. That is the TV series We Own This City. It's based off Sergeant Wayne Jenkins and his elite police unit called the Gun Trace Task Force. Wayne Jenkins was the head of this Baltimore Police Task Unit. They were supposed to stop crime, but instead they became the most corrupt cop cops of all time. Their main purpose was to take illegal weapons off the streets, but instead they stole people's weapons and then sold them to criminals. They also robbed dealers and planted false evidence. In 2018, Sergeant Wayne Jenkins was arrested and pled guilty to robbery, racketeering, and civil rights violations. That last one was for planting illegal substances on two men back in 2010. For all of these insane crimes, he was sentenced to 25 years in prison. Prison. Jenkins tried to get a lighter sentence, but the judge said no, calling Wayne Jenkins a narcotics dealer with a police badge. The judge also said he put poison into the community that he should have been protecting. Wayne Jenkins cried in court and said he was so sorry for what he did, but he committed so much crime over seven years. Wayne Jenkins also apologized to the family of Elbert Davis. This man lost his life in a car chase started by Wayne Jenkins. Wayne Jenkins then planned planted illegal substances in his car. Also that Wayne Jenkins didn't get in trouble for starting a police chase. The assistant US attorney also said Wayne Jenkins operated his police unit like a gang, often targeting other gangs. That's because they knew the gangs couldn't go to the police. Moving on, we have to look at Michael Dotro. Michael Dotro was a New Jersey cop, but in 2013, he set fire to his own police captain's house. Michael Dotro used two massive jugs of gas and set fire to Captain Mark Endurko's house. He wanted to end the life of his police captain. At the time, his wife, his two kids, and his 92-year-old mother were all inside the house. Captain Endurko's house was badly damaged, but thankfully, everyone lived. Michael Dotro was soon arrested. But why did Michael set the house on fire? Well, he was ordered by Captain Mark Endurko to undergo a psychological evaluation. This was for bullying and harassing various staff at the police station. He also had various excessive force complaints meaning that he was very rough and violent with people he was arresting. In court, Michael's wife lost control and shouted at him, you're a manipulative monster. Very harsh words coming from his own wife. Eventually, Michael was charged with 17 other offenses, including buying narcotics while on duty, having illegal weapons like brass knuckles and clubs, and even slashing the tires of one of his female co-workers. Michael Dotro's wife was also arrested and charged. She gave false information during the investigation, and also helped Michael with some of his crimes. Moving on, let's look at Daniel Holtzclaw. This insanely corrupt cop worked for the Oklahoma Police Department, committing his crimes in 2013 and 14. 
he would go to poor areas to seek out victims. He would assault these women, especially ones with criminal records, believing they'd be less likely to report him to the cops. But eventually one woman did come forward, saying that Daniel assaulted her during a traffic stop. This began a massive investigation, where Daniel's abuse of power was exposed. Many victims then came forward to say that Daniel Holtzclaw did the same thing to them. He would use his power as a cop to intimidate and manipulate them. He would also demand certain intimate favors in exchange for not arresting women. During the trial, Daniel Holtzclaw said he was innocent, but the jury found him guilty on 18 counts. He cried as he was sentenced to 263 years in prison. It's safe to say Daniel is one of the most corrupt cops of all time, but thankfully he is now behind bars and can't get his hands on any more victims. Next, we have to look at Joseph Metzganowski. Joseph Metzganowski was called Chicago's most corrupt cop of all time. This cop sold many narcotics and actually worked with various gang members. In 2001, he was finally arrested. This was for selling narcotics and even giving the names of undercover cops to gang members. He served 22 corrupt years as a cop. He was backstabbing his department the entire time. He was protecting gangs and even gave police ammunition to gang members. He was sentenced to life in prison. In 2018, he requested his sentence to be reduced, but this was denied denied by a judge in 2021. The judge said Joseph lived a double life as a cop and gang member at the same time calling him the most corrupt cop he had ever seen. Next, I have to show you Kenneth Blue. Kenneth Blue was a cop in Michigan, but when his actions came to light, the community was shocked. Kenneth took the life of Jennifer Webb, a 32-year-old pregnant woman. Kenneth had been having an affair with Jennifer and was the father of their unborn child, but because Kenneth was married, he wanted to keep their affair hidden. So he convinced Jennifer to meet him in a quiet area. He then shot Jennifer Webb, leaving her to die. Jennifer's body was eventually found. A bullet casing and some tire tracks linked Kenneth to the scene of the crime. DNA evidence later proved Kenneth was guilty. He was sentenced to life in prison. Now I have to show you Eric de Valcanere. This Kansas City police officer was arrested for taking an innocent man's life. Eric de Valcanere ended the life of Cameron Lamb. Eric de Valcanere was responding to a 911 call. It was about a red pickup truck. That was when he saw Cameron Lamb's red pickup truck outside his house. Eric de Valcanere entered Cameron Lamb's property without a warrant. He also did not identify himself and was wearing plain clothing. Eric de Valcanere pointed his weapon at Cameron. He then yelled that Cameron had a weapon and shot him four times. This all happened within nine seconds of de Valcanere arriving at Cameron's house. Eric de Valcanere was found guilty in 2021 and was sentenced to six years behind bars. Next, let's look at Zachary Wester. This Florida cop was accused of abusing his power. He would plant many substances on motorists during traffic stops and would then arrest them on false charges. An investigation was then started and it was found Zachary Wester had been doing this for many years. He would also steal money from the motorists he arrested. He was even caught on body cam planting illegal substances in a woman's car. It's believed he did this dozens of times. In 2019, he was fined as a cop and in 2020, he was arrested and taken to court. In 2021, he was found guilty of 19 charges and was sentenced to 12 years in prison for his crimes and was ordered to pay money to his victims. Finally, let's look at Stephanie Rogina. It's not often you see female cops fired or arrested, but in 2017, this female cop from New Jersey was pulled over. She had been speeding and driving drunk. She argued with the cop who arrested her and even asked if they wanted to see her police badge. Stephanie was later fired as a cop, but it's not known if she faced any criminal charges for her actions. But now it's time for you to make your voice heard. Which of these cops was the most corrupt? Thanks for watching, I've been Charlie. If you want to see my short videos, then check out my second channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And if you haven't already, then what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.